There's so many things about adoption that have surprised me in the best of ways. And I'd say the biggest surprise for me is how quickly it became a non-thing, a non-issue. I think I assumed there'd be kind of this line of demarcation that I would always kind of be hit in the face every time I looked at Missy thinking, she isn't my biological child. Almost like there's this asterisk next to her as my daughter. And that just, um, it's like it immediately went away. It's funny that even though my little girl's from Haiti, so we don't look exactly the same. She has curly hair and I have straight hair. I forget that I did not give birth to this kid. We were at the um, doctor's office recently. My little girl has HIV, and so the doctor is very fastidious about if she has any tiny little infection. He'll spend a long time on it, even though her HIV is undetectable. But she had this little infected mosquito bite on her shoulder, and the doctor just spent, I mean, it just like felt like hours. It was only a couple of minutes, but he was just focused on this one little infected mosquito bite, you know, just wondering why this infection got past the her immune system because it's so good now. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and watching and watching and finally I went, Dr. Wilson, my skin does exactly the same thing. Every time I get bit and I hike up my, my pant leg to show him where I have an infected mosquito bite and he just looked at me quizzic quizzically like, um, yeah, she's adopted. And it was hilarious because I went, oh, Oh yeah, I mean, I literally said that out loud because I had forgotten in that moment, here's my child from Haiti with the doctor that I brought home at two and a half. You would think I would remember that she's adopted, but uh, I mean, I forgot it almost as quickly as I had her home because God just sovereignly knit her into my heart and my soul. She's my child. So I very rarely now say she's my adopted daughter. She's just my daughter.